Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Trisha. For those that are new, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. Today, I want to share five simple wall art ideas that I believe you can do right now at home. So let's go ahead and dive into the first one. All of the projects that I'm going to show you are inspired by photos that I saw on Pinterest. So here is the first one. For this project, you will need a canvas and it could be any size of your choosing. It just all depends on where you're planning to hang it. Also, I encourage you to get a flat brush. You could probably get it from the Dollar Tree if you want it. And whatever color craft paint that you would like, I'm going to be using this black paint um, that I usually get from Walmart. So all I'm going to do is just put it in a plastic container. You, Whatever you have on hand, that's all you need. And then I'm just going to take the brush and just make dashes all the way across. If you have a lot of things that are on your mind and you need something else to focus on to kind of like take you away or escape, painting is a good option to consider. That's why I do it a lot. It just allows me to be, you know, creative and just go into a space where there's no, you know, stress or anything like that. I'm sure some of you are probably wondering how long it takes, but it all depends on the size of your canvas. So just take your time. This particular one only took me less than 10 minutes. Once you're finished, let it dry and frame it. Here's the second one I think you could do. For this project, I decided to pour the acrylic paint right onto the canvas and paint using a wide brush. I want to note that these paintings are, you know, my interpretation of them. They are not going to be exactly how the painting looks in that picture. And that's it. Here's the next one I want to show you. To start the project, I decided to draw the shapes that I want to create on the canvas. If you're like me, it's probably best to use a pencil when you're drawing your shapes, that way you're able to erase your mistakes. Once you have the shape the way you would like, all you need to do is take a small brush and just outline the shapes and then paint in the inside. Once I finished painting the shapes, I just went back in and cleaned it up with white paint. Here's the next one I would like to show you. If you like the geometric look, you will love this painting. So I decided to spray paint my canvas first with gold spray paint. And then I'm just going to use my painter's tape and just tape off sections of the canvas. I recommend using the frog tape, which is the green tape and not the blue tape. And you'll see why a little bit later. Next, you want to fill in those sections that you've just created with a different color and I'm going to use black. You could use multiple colors here so you don't have to use the same color for all the sections. I just decided to just do this because, uh, you know, just what I was feeling. After the paint has dried, all you need to do is just remove the painter's tape and you will see what I was talking about earlier using the blue tape 
you know the paint just bleeds underneath it so I highly recommend using the frog tape the green tape um, because you'll get straight lines and of course I can't leave my painting like that so I went back in and traced the shape with a gold metallic um, pen uh, this is very handy uh, for multiple projects so I make sure I have a couple of pens on hand um, if you plan to do something like this, I would recommend the same. Here's the last style of wall art that I wanted to share with you. I'm not quite sure what the name of this type of wall art is, but uh, it's kind of a minimalistic piece. The one that I'm going to do is a little bit different than the one that you just saw. I'm going to start off by using my pencil and just creating the shapes that I want. Once I finish making my shapes, I'm just going to paint the inside of the lines, but I want to make it look more um, dramatic by almost as if I ran out of paint in some areas. That way it can look a little bit lighter and like it's, you know, like the color has faded. I hope this video has really inspired you just, you know, just to create something beautiful that you may have been wanting to do for a while. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just try it. You just never know. So tell me what type of things you like to create when you are trying to relieve stress. I can't wait to hear from you. Until next time, have a great week.